Joseph Yossi Ginsberg is an Israeli adventurer, author, entrepreneur, humanitarian, and motivational speaker currently based in Byron Bay, Australia. Ginsberg is best known for his story of surviving being trapped in an uncharted part of the Amazon jungle in Bolivia for three weeks in 1981. Ginsberg's survival story was reimagined in the horror film Psychological Jungle in 2017, with Daniel Radcliffe as Yossi Ginsberg. Ginsberg's story was also featured in the Discovery Channel documentary series I Shouldn't Be Alive. Want to know about it in detail? Well, stay tuned till the end. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will talk about the man who got lost in the jungle for 27 days. Meanwhile, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. That being done, let's start with a little introduction. Ginsberg is currently a tech entrepreneur and founder of the Headbox mobile apps, which integrate all social media activity into a single feed, and Blink, which provides activity and social updates direct association. After completing his service in the Israeli Navy, Ginsberg, inspired by Henri Charrier's book Papillon, detailing the author's experiences as an escaped prisoner, was determined to find Charrier and find him, seek blessings to follow in his footsteps. Ginsberg had returned shortly from a trip from Africa to Mexico and yearned for the experience of being immersed in the rainforest. He worked multiple jobs to save money to travel to South America and dreamed of exploring the unspoiled heart of the Amazon jungle. By the time Ginsberg was finally able to travel to South America, Charrier was dead and the tribes Ginsberg wished to discover were already civilized. Ginsberg hitchhiked from Venezuela to Colombia, where he met Marcus Stamm, a Swiss teacher, in the middle of his expedition, and the two became good friends and traveled together to La Paz, Bolivia. There, Ginsberg meets Karl Ruprechter, a mysterious Austrian who claims to be a geologist. Ruprechter told Ginsberg that he was planning an expedition to the uncharted Amazon region of Bolivia in search of gold in a remote village of Tacana. Ginsberg, who was looking for an opportunity to explore the uncharted regions of the Amazon, immediately joined Ruprechter on his journey, along with two of Ginsberg's new acquaintances, Marcus Stamm and Kevin Gale, a photographer. American photographer. All four, never having any previous connection, set off on an adventure in Bolivia in search of gold. Ginsberg, 22, and his two friends followed Ruprechter by plane to Apollo, La Paz, and from there traveled to the Tuichi River and to a local village called Azariamas, at the confluence of the two rivers, Tuichi Azariamas. There they provide food and supplies. Then follow Carl's stories of visiting an ancient indigenous village hidden deep in the rainforest inhabited by primitive people who had seen very few white men. Life, the group set off up the Arzariamus River and through the mountains on the way there. Finally, out of the reserve, they have to eat monkey meat. Stam refuses to eat monkey meat and is physically weakened. In that condition, they decided to abandon their journey and return to Azariamas. As Ginsberg and Gale's raft approaches the waterfall, they lose control and separate. Gale made it to shore, but Ginsberg drifted downstream and above the waterfall. He spent four days traveling upstream in search of Gale before finally realizing that he was stranded alone in the jungle. Gale was rescued by local fishermen after being stranded for five days. Back in La Paz, he visits the consulates of Israel and Austria to ask for their help in preparing rescue missions for his friends. Gale was informed by the Austrian consulate that Ruprechter was an Austrian criminal wanted by Interpol. Ginsberg spent the next three weeks lost in an uncharted area of the Amazon. He survived completely alone in the wild towards the end of his life. During the second week, there was flooding in the area and Ginsberg nearly drowned. He sank twice into a quagmire. For the next five days, Ginsberg had no food other than what he found and his feet began to rot from fungus. According to Ginsberg, he hallucinated about a woman he slept with every night. Ginsberg returned to the river and encountered Gale, who, with the natives, organized a search and rescue mission led by Abelardo Tico Tudela. They found Ginsberg after three days of searching, three weeks after Ginsberg was first reported missing. Ginsberg spent three months after the rescue recuperating in the hospital. Ruprechter and Stam did not return to La Paz. Despite the efforts of several rescue missions, they were never found. So what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thank you for watching. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.